Yep. It's drive-by bolo time. It is time for another drive-by bolo, and this one, not one that I'm going to find often, I don't think, here in Montana, but some of you out there in more metropolitan areas, let's say, I, I live in the mountains, I live in the woods, not really, but I do live in a, uh, I mean, there's a million people here in Montana. A lot of you guys have a million people, way more than a million people in your city. So the odds of you coming across this thing, much greater than the odds of me coming across it. But that means if I can come across it, any one of you can come across it. So this is definitely worth looking at. Let me show you what we're talking about today. Okay, guys, this is what we're talking about today. Um, looks pretty simple, right? Almost looks tchotchke. Uh, base, <laughs> just a basic thing, right? Well, there's no stamp even on the bottom, though I will tell you there used to be a sticker on the bottom at some point in this thing's lifetime. But this is an absolute bolo. I picked this up on a Saturday, guys. Uh, when I'm filming this, it's actually yesterday, but I picked this up Saturday. The last sale that I went to, it was pushing lunchtime. So it had been sitting there all day. I passed half a dozen cars coming out. There was at least as many sitting in there still because uh, this was on like a little dirt road to get to this thing. You'll see the video of the actual hunt a little bit later down the road, but I wanted to get this one out and show you because you know what, this thing already sold. And so I'm not gonna have a chance to uh, hang on to it and show you what it looks like. Um, I picked this up at a table along actually with that guy. We'll grab that guy here in a second, but uh, these were both sitting on a table. These are tiki mugs, okay? There is a niche community that collects tiki mugs, tiki items. Okay, this is a tiki rum barrel. All it took was a little bit of research, and it wasn't even hard, guys. Uh, look up Aku Aku mug. That's all you got to look up. I might have looked up Aku Aku tiki mug, but I think I think it was Aku Aku barrel mug is what I looked up when I got home. Now, I picked this up without comping it. I knew that it was going to be valuable. I did not know how valuable because, it, like I said, it just looks like a basic mug, right? Turns out this is from 1960s Las Vegas from a tiki lounge. Uh, my guess is, I don't know, but my guess is it's probably not even there anymore. So this is a pretty rare piece. How did it find its way to Helena, Montana? I've got no idea. Somebody probably took a trip. But this thing sold in a matter of hours, guys. That thing, I listed it, and it was instantly getting people looking at it. Uh, so was the other mug, and I'll pick that up and I'll show you because that one is one to look out for too. Um, there are plenty of styles, but this mug, guys, I listed it high because there were no others like this available. One sold back in March, early to mid-March. It sold for $59.50, this exact same mug, plus shipping but there were no others. So when there are no others, when you control the market, you get to price as high as you want. I priced this thing at 99 bucks. I think it was 99.49. Uh, it was actually going to get hit by my 30% off sale before too long, but it didn't even last long enough for the 30% off sale to kick in, which would have put it at 66 or 67 bucks, which is still higher than the, uh, than the sold comp. The, the history says this thing sells for about 60 bucks, right? But there are no others, so I control it. I put it up at 99. Somebody in Beverly Hills sent me an offer of $85 plus shipping. I immediately hit accept because I was obviously waiting through the weekend on my 30% off sale. I had to take in 66. So $85, absolutely. He paid shipping. He paid his sales tax all in. $103 for this mug. Now, how much did I pay for this mug? I paid $2.50. Now, uh, it wasn't individual price. I put multiple things. I think I had six things together for $15. And uh, so break it all. If you want to break it even, it's $2.50. 
even if this is all I bought at $15. 85 bucks plus shipping, guys, and it sold in hours. I've got a watcher on this other one. Let me show you that one, too. So this guy, it's like the Eastern, Eastern, it's like the Easter Island faces, right? That's essentially what this is. That's what I saw when I first saw it, and then I went, oh, yeah, tiki mug. Okay, it's just a mug, right? On the bottom, you can see, though, this is exclusively for Skipper Kent's in San Francisco and Kona, Hawaii. So Skipper Kent's, I don't know anything about it, but it's probably a tiki bar. And there are only two of them in San Francisco and in Hawaii. At least there were only two of them. Um, these, there are similar listed on eBay right now. Uh, and there are some that have, there are some sold comps. Uh, so this one, not quite as rare as our rum barrel there, but there are not many of these. One sold in a set, I think. There was, I think, only one other listed like this, and the coloring is a little bit different because these are hand done, right? These were glazed. These were painted by somebody specifically for those restaurants. They're probably all a little bit different. So I put this thing up. This thing is also, now that the sale is kicked in, sitting at about $66. Uh, I had watchers on both of these almost immediately within the hour. And I do have a watcher on this one for 66 and change. Uh, I think this probably will sell between 50 and 60 bucks. I'll take an offer on it. But again, $2.50 into this, what looks like a cheesy tourist mug, right? There's a little nick right there, which is a bummer, but otherwise in beautiful condition. So tiki mugs, guys. I know it sounds weird, and I know some of you are going to live in an area where you're not going to find these, but I shouldn't have found this in Montana either, really. So keep an eye out for Tiki Mugs. There's absolutely a market I didn't promote. All I did was list it, and it immediately picked up watchers, and that one pretty much immediately sold for a lot. This one is going to sell for quite a lot. So how about that? So that's your drive through Bolo today, guys. Thanks for tuning in. I sure appreciate it. Be sure to come back here tonight. We've got our live show, 8 p.m. Eastern. You're not going to want to miss it. If you haven't already, subscribe, please. I'd sure like that. And uh, hit the bell. That'll let you know when we put new content up. We do that about four times a week or so now. So uh, lots of new stuff coming the way. We've got what sold later this week. We'll have some garage sale video, all sorts of cool stuff. And then, of course, our Monday Night Lives. If you've got a comment... Leave a comment down below, good, bad, or otherwise. I'd like to see it. I'd much rather a comment than a thumbs down. Tell me what you don't like. We'll see if we can't fix it. Or maybe this channel's just not for you. But if it is, hit the subscribe. Thanks, guys. We'll see you next time.